Let's discuss pupillary reflexes. The consensual light reflex is what happens when you shine light in one pupil and you get contralateral constriction. Look at this diagram. This diagram represents the neural pathways responsible for the consensual light reflex. Light entering the eye stimulates the photoreceptor cells of the retina. Afferent neurons of the optic nerve carry the impulse into the brain along the optic tract, through the lateral geniculate body, and along the optic radiation to the visual cortex in the occipital lobe. Pupillary constriction to the light occurs when, before reaching the lateral geniculate body, the optic tract splits, sending fibers back into the brainstem, where efferent fibers of the third cranial nerve return to the ipsilateral eye, causing the pupil to constrict. The consensual light reflex occurs when fibers in the brainstem cross over and stimulate the contralateral third cranial nerve, causing the opposite pupil to also constrict. Now let's go to the clinic and see how this test is actually performed on a real patient. Here you see the provider examining each eye first for the direct pupillary reflex by shining the light into each eye and observing the same eye for constriction. Next she shines the light into each eye while observing the other eye for consensual constriction. To directly observe the consensual reflex, watch the patient's left pupil constrict as the provider shines the light in her right eye. In summary, the consensual light reflex should always be checked during exam of direct pupillary light reflex. It examines the integrity of the retina, the ipsilateral optic nerve, the ipsilateral oculomotor nerve, and the contralateral oculomotor nerve. Doctor, my.